guys welcome back to Jay's kitchen so tomorrow is Ganesh Chaturthi and uh, I'm going to be making some sweets uh, dishes for Ganesha so one of the dishes is chickpeas stir fried in coconut so the chickpeas what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be soaking the chickpeas overnight so I'm going to be soaking it now for me to be making it tomorrow so let's soak the chickpeas I'm going to show you uh, what type of the chickpeas and the soaking process which is very simple and uh, tomorrow once it actually uh, is good to go for us to cook and then I'm going to be making uh, the chickpea stir fry in coconut which is also known as chana sundal so let's see the ingredients so what I have here is the chickpeas so it's also known as chana so what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be taking just one cup, I'm not going to be making a lot, so I'm going to be taking one cup of the chickpeas. Okay, and I'm going to add it into this bowl, maybe just a little bit extra. More. Not too much. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with water. So if I fill this up quite a bit with water. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to leave it here overnight. So the chickpeas is already soaking. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave it as it is and tomorrow morning we are going to uh, start making uh, the chickpea stir fry in coconut. So we're going to wait all night and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Hi guys, so it's a very good morning today and today is Ganesh Chaturthi and we are going to be making all of Ganesha's favorite sweets. So. Yesterday, we had actually soaked our chickpeas, one cup of chickpeas overnight. So today, we're going to see the chickpeas and we're going to start cooking, uh, making chickpeas uh, stir fried with coconut. So chickpeas sundal, we're going to be making that. So let's see, have a look at our chickpeas, uh, how it turned out. So this is our chickpeas that we had closed. As you can see here, it has uh, doubled in size. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to rinse this and we're going to cook it um, in a pot. You can even uh, pressure cook it for one whistle, but I don't want to use a pressure cooker, so I'm going to be cooking it in a pot. It'll take some time, so until you press and it actually is soft, so it means it's already cooked. So let me rinse this and then we can start cooking it in the pot. So I have a pot here that's actually... Um, uh, I've actually uh, uh, the heat is on high and a pot is actually boiling so we're going to be waiting for it to rapid boil before we add in our chickpeas and then we're going to add in a little bit of salt inside and then we're going to uh, cook it till it becomes soft so we're going to wait till it rapid boils so the water is already boiling here as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in all the chickpeas extra extra careful because the water will actually splatter okay and then I'm going to give it a nice mix and I'm going to allow this to cook and then I'm going to add in some salt just a little bit Give it another mix. And let's wait for it to boil and cook. So after roughly about 20 to 25 minutes, as you can see, we're going to test. Oops, it's hot. Uh oh. So you see, it's already soft. So we're going to switch off the, the stove. We're going to drain the water. And let's see what are the ingredients we need to actually make this chickpea uh, with coconut. 
So these are the ingredients we need to make the uh, chickpeas uh, in coconut, with chickpeas with coconut or chana sundal. So of course we need salt for seasoning. For tempering, we need cumin seed, mustard seed, about one teaspoon each. And then I've got one green chili for the spiciness. I don't want it to be too spicy. If you want it more spicy, you can always add in extra green chilies. Or you can even add in a little bit of red chili powder. And I've got asafoetida powder. And then uh, I'm going to get a sprig of curry leaves. You can see here my curry leaves. And most importantly, coconut. So we'll probably use about one uh, cup of coconut. And then, of course, not forgetting our chickpeas. So we can start uh, making the uh, chickpeas with coconut. So I've prepped my ingredients here. So I've got roughly about one cup of coconut and then one sprig of curry leaf and my chilies. I've actually cut them really diced up. We're going to be using one teaspoon of cumin seed, one teaspoon mustard seed and uh, also some asafoetida and uh, chickpeas and also some salt. You can even use in uh, urad dal if you want to but I prefer not to use urad dal. So you can add in another one teaspoon of urad dal together and mix it up. So I have my pan that's heating up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some canola oil. Uh, not too much, just a little bit. And then we're going to add in our spices. So I'm going to add in my cumin seed. One teaspoon. Even an adding ura dal would be great too. It'll be uh, tastier and all that. And then we'll add our mustard seed. And then a little bit of asafoetida powder. Okay. And we're going to give it a mix. So give it a nice mix and then add in our green chili and curry leaf. So mix it. Saute it a little bit for about one to two minutes. You can see the mustard seed is crackling, so let it crackle, and then we can add in our chickpeas. It's a very simple procedure, and you know it's very easy to make. And then. Let's make sure we got all the spices all mixed together. Okay. Let's add in a little bit of salt. And then we're going to um, saute this for about two to three minutes before we add in our uh, coconut. So just saute this and make sure that you get all the spices all mixed together for about two to three minutes. So after about two to three minutes, uh, once you've made sure that everything is all well mixed, so we can add in the coconut. Make sure you got all the coconut inside and then give it a mix. So since my coconut just came out uh, of the freezer, so a little bit of it is still, de uh, it's still you know, uh, like cubed and hard. So I'm going to allow this to be on the pan for a couple minutes until it actually all breaks up. So I'm going to break all this up. So once it's in the heat, it will actually break up. So it should be no problem. Okay, so that's it. Our chana sundo or chickpeas in coconut. Chickpeas with coconut. And then what we can do is we can switch off the heat and transfer it to another bowl. So this is my end result of my chana sundo or coconut in uh, coconut in um, stir fried with uh, chickpeas stir fried with coconuts 
so um so this is it very simple dish uh and um uh, very easy to make and usually i make it during ganesh chaturthi so please do try it and let me know how it turns out you can always add in a little bit of spice um chili powder or extra chilies if you want to make it a little bit more spicy thank you so much for um watching my video on how i made chana sundel or chickpeas uh, with coconut so if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and uh, please share it on social media and among your friends and don't forget if you're new to my uh, youtube uh, channel hummy but mama please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button visit my channel and uh, view my videos and also don't forget the notification bell so you always receive an email notification whenever a new video is uploaded on my youtube channel hummingbird mama so take care and i will see you in my next cooking video Thank you.